guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel and today's video is going to be about all things high school. Mostly, it's going to be high school advice. I'm coming up to be a junior this fall and these are just some things that I wish someone had shared with me before or during my sophomore and freshman year. But yeah, let's get on with the video. I have a whole list that I compiled that I also asked from different people. The first thing on my list is to not be afraid to ask for help. I don't know about other people but I had a mandatory class elective technically called AVID. Lesson that's most emphasized during my time in AVID which I'm going to have to continue during my junior and sophomore year is that you when you need help you need to ask for it like teachers or literally anyone are not mind readers and they can't tell you or they won't be able to tell if you need help like you need to tell them. I know sometimes it's hard to speak up for yourself but like you literally me too no one will help you if you can help yourself like that's the one thing i've learned um if you don't want to ask them in real life you can always email them um usually during high school classes um they give out a syllabus and the syllabus includes the teacher's name um your phone extension and then their emails or you can just look it up as well but yeah just email them if you don't want to ask them face to face but always always ask for help when you need it like always remember that no one can help you if you're not helping yourself the next thing i want to touch on is time management now i know it'll be well for me at least it was very different for me my life in middle school as well as my life in high school because i wasn't used to like the rhythm of things but you need to learn some time management skills as early on as you can um you should never ever procrastinate because time will go so fast without you realizing it and then next thing you know it's like 3 a.m and you have a five page homework due and that has happened to me before some of the things that were helpful to me was the pomodoro cycle which i learned in avid as well if you guys have that class in your campus i 100 percent recommend that you go for it because it's such like a helpful class sorry my mom just came in to give me a message our schedule. Pomodoro cycle is you work for a specific amount of time and then you take a break for a specific amount of time. Personally, I like to do 25 minutes of a work cycle and a 5 minute break so that's 30 minutes and you just keep redoing the cycle all over again until you're completely done with your work and I swear it is so rewarding. It's like it's just such a good feeling to get everything that you need to do done. Like it's maybe it's like a little bit niche but I love it. I love the feeling so much. The next thing on my list is join organizations and clubs. Like I honestly that's like the best way to make friends because you guys have one common interest and that's going to lead to more interests that you guys can talk about. Does that make any sense? Um so like I joined Business Professionals of America and I also competed. Honestly, if you want me to be honest, I, I just joined BPA for um for the field trips because BPA our sponsor, Miss Parted, she left for the school year, but it's fine. Um BPA is known for the most extravagant field trips. Like we went to the Blue Bell factory thing. We also went to the Houston Channel ship. Um, we went to Galveston Pier. I don't know why I forgot to include the more exciting field trips because I know the Houston ship channel doesn't sound too interesting to go on. But we also went to see a Rockets game against the Clippers. Um, we went to the Kima Boardwalk. We were supposed to go to the Zoo Lights, the Houston Zoo Lights, but we ended up going to Kima Boardwalk instead. Um, we went to the Houston Galleria. We just go everywhere. And honestly, no organization is doing field trips like that. And I hope, even with Miss Pardon gone, that we still get to do fun things like that. But anyways, in BPA, pretty much, um, there's a lot of events that you can compete in. And I competed in um, health administrations or something like that. I actually placed fourth in regionals and I went on to Dallas to compete. I didn't place there. There was a lot of competitive competitive people there so I, I wasn't there wasn't much hope for me. But it was so fun and I made so many new friends and now I have so 
so much more friends just because of that one organization. Um, I'm also in NHS. It, NHS is an invite only organization, but it's still like a good goal, I guess, to keep in mind. I'm also in tennis, and honestly, I'm not a sporty person at all. And I have never been in, I, honestly, I'm still not a sporty person. But with tennis, it took me a lot of like considerations and persuasions from my friends who are in tennis but because of tennis I met new, new people and next year I'm actually planning on joining HOSA it's an organization for people who are pursuing something in the medical field so it's a good it's a good thing to keep in mind because I also plan because I plan on being in the medical field honestly I still don't know what I'm wanting to do but like I have a few I have a few years to figure it out Tennis leads me onto another topic, which is do not be afraid to learn new things and do not be afraid to not know everything. You are, actually I don't know, I don't remember what grade you were in when you went into high school. I think you're like 14, 15. Yeah, you're like 14, 15. You're, you're not going to learn, you're not going to know everything and that's fine, like there's nothing wrong with that at all. Keep an open mind, learn new things, never like be close minded about stuff and that's going to take you a long as you know in high school. During your freshman year, try to form good study habits. Like I said, I already told you about the Pomodoro cycle. Just find things that works for you. For me personally, I love just like listening to music while I'm doing work and then I'll have like a quick music break and I'll just like do karaoke to some of my favorite songs. My one tip to get off your phone is to do a time lapse while you're working. Like I don't know how many times it honestly saved me, but it has saved me a lot of freaking times. It keeps you motivated because you get to see the end result of like you doing stuff and then it also gets you off your phone because you can't use it or else you're gonna end the time lapse. Okay, this is another thing. Stay freaking organized, okay? Like I know it's sometimes it's hard because they're always giving you paper after paper and paper. Sometimes you get multiple papers a day. Um, last year I had like a whole trash bag that was just filled with AP World History and Chemistry paper. Try to stay as organized as you can. Like use binders and dividers and stuff like that. Like take the time out of your day to stay organized. Like my other tip is to use your phone calendar. Like I don't know how many times it saved me, but it has saved me a lot. Um, I started using my phone calendar towards the end of the school year during my sophomore year, and look, I don't have to miss anything. Like I have on day 11th, I have freshman orientation that I volunteered for, and then I also have a game at 3 p.m. And then Monday on the 14th, it's my first day of school, and then on the 15th, I have a game again, and then on the 17th, I have a game again, and then on the 19th, I'm going out with my friend. It keeps me just so organized, and it keeps me like in check of stuff that I need to do, and it's so helpful. Put like a widget over here on your phone, and you will not forget it. When you start using it, and you form your habit by putting in whatever event is on this day and then this time, it will help you so much. And honestly, I started using it because I started getting really stressed out with end of the year events, and I was just like, this is too much, I can't keep track. So I started using it, and I put a widget. Most people are always on their phone, so it's, it's just helpful because it's right there in front of your face. You can't really miss it. Try to make friends. Like, this is coming from an introvert, but like, try to make friends. I'm a lot more social now than I was during my freshman year of high school, but like, oh my god. Like, it does not hurt for you to like, be social, honestly. Like, this is coming from an introvert, but yeah, just try to be social. Like, one friend could turn into like a whole different friend group, and it's actually like amazing. Like, it's crazy to think about, but like, for real. Like, everyone's going to be nervous, especially if you're a freshman. Like, everyone's nervous. Everyone's like, like, they don't know what's going on either. They're probably feeling very nervous about this as well. So, just try to be more outgoing. Like, it won't hurt you to be like, hey, my name is blah, 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 and blah, 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 blah. Like, it, it really does not hurt you at all. Like, 
I know it's coming from me, and I'm like the least social person ever if you know me, but like I'm working on it, and you should too. Do not burn yourself out. Like it's high school is hard. Like it won't be easy on you at all. And it's best. And I know this is not my shame. Okay, let's leave it. Um, high school is hard, and it won't be like the best experience of your life. There'll there'll be like good highlights of it, but it won't be like unicorns and rainbows and sprinkles and cupcakes. Like it won't be like that at all. And that's fine. But try to focus on the good than the bad i think that's like the best way to look at it like don't do so much stuff or don't pressure yourself so much that you think that oh i need to do this in order to be amazing like you can make mistakes like it's fine to make mistakes the best thing to do when you make mistakes is to learn from them and not do it again like, you cannot be pressing yourself so much especially if it's your like first or second year of high school because you still have two or three more years to go like it's going to be tough on you if you keep pushing yourself to the point where you're mentally physically and emotionally exhausted like that's not good for you or that's not good for people around you either this is another thing that leads into that grades are important but it does not define your worth and honestly i'm still working on that because i've always i've always been smart i've always gotten a's and b's and it wasn't until sophomore year when i took chemistry that i started getting c's i was very harsh on myself but then like honestly it's fine like as long as you redeem yourself it's good like grades are important though like don't get me wrong grades are important don't think about don't think about freshman year and your sophomore year being like oh it's the first two years of high school it doesn't matter colleges aren't gonna care blah 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 they will look at that grades are important but like despite me saying that grades don't define your worth don't translate that into thinking that grades are not important and that you can get up your trying stuff no don't think of it like that like you still need to pass but i'm tell but like if you get like a c or something you don't need to be like too harsh on yourself just redeem yourself i think that's that's like the message that i'm trying to get across right now don't just don't be too harsh on yourself but also try yeah i think i think that's a, a better message my next advice is to form relationships with your teachers not like that but like i'm saying to be nice to them and like greet them being like good morning blah 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 how was your day say thank you and just you know common courtesy you know be nice to them you're gonna be with them the whole year maybe you'll you'll be with them for like the rest of your high school years i don't know but just be nice, make relations, or become useful when it comes to like applying to college and stuff and you can ask for a letter of recommendation. Um, I already know the one teacher that I'm definitely going to ask for one is Mr. Williams. I, Mr. Williams is my AP World History teacher um, last year and I struggled a lot in the beginning of his class until I like pulled my way up and then I got a four on the AP exam and that was my first AP class ever. So it's just good i guess to keep that in mind be nice to them no one really wants to teach an asshole of a child i also think i'm coming from a place of sympathy because my mom's a teacher and she tells me about like kids who just behave bad in her class it emotionally drain emotionally and physically drains teachers to deal with kids who are just annoying so i'm telling you to not do that like just be nice like it literally won't hurt you to be nice is what i'm trying to say so be nice to your teachers make good relationships with them form a good impression it's not going to kill you this advice is specifically for people taking dual credit classes um i'm in a program called early college it lets me do high school for two years and it lets me do college for another two years so that when it's time for me to graduate i have a high school diploma and associate's degree so this is for us this is for y'all my first advice for y'all is to not procrastinate like i said that this this applies for both high school and dual credit students 
but don't procrastinate at all like those those college professors does not care at all like they will get paid either way we had one I had a sociology professor and he literally did not care like at all like he would come to our campus to teach and then he'd leave like he doesn't do any extra stuff and he doesn't care if you like miss a test and stuff like he gives you a time period and all that stuff he was fun I loved I loved Mr. Professor Kogor but he just he just does not but like college professors just does not care they will get paid either way so just do what you work get a good grade and move on with it another big thing that I'm talking through my experience for freshmen specifically is to have some effing manners like I know last year some some freshmen I was a sophomore last year and in my in my campus specifically or in my building we'd only have um, sophomores and freshmen in that building and the seniors and the juniors would be at the college but have some manners like I know some people would like push in the hallways and I know one of my friends got like a dirty look from one of the freshmen because they were literally just walking and speaking of walking do not run in the hallway do not block the hallway it's a two-way street in the hallways either you go this way or you go this way like you can't you can't block them because you will cause an immense amount of traffic that will annoy literally everyone this one specifically is from my friend and she said do not run in the hallway i think it's kind of embarrassing unless you're like if you're late might as well be extra late like does that make sense like you can maybe speed walk like that's what i did it's kind of embarrassing to speed walk but like i didn't care but like you can speed walk but don't run like whatever you do literally don't run it's my battery died but it's not that it's embarrassing or anything i think it's just annoying because when you run you're technically just pushing people out of the way and people also have places to get to so be nice have manners don't run in the freaking hallway i'm telling y'all please learn some manners learn learn how to say excuse me learn how to say thank you like it really does not hurt you at all if you do that like you're not if anything people are going to appreciate it more because i know i appreciate it when people are say excuse me i experienced some people push people out of the way to like go on first but like it does I, like if you say excuse me i will let you in 100 percent. like i will let you scoop whatever you need to do i'll let you do it but like if you just like squish your way in i would want to punch in your face i won't do it but like just know i am thinking of it it's very useful to have a phone charger with you a portable charger and your laptop charger I personally didn't bring my laptop charger all the time, but that's because I would charge it at home. Oh, that's another thing. Charge your laptop at home at night. You get to your room, plug in your laptop. And then I like, before you go to bed, it should be fully charged by then. So then you can put it back in your bag and you won't be forgetting it. I also asked some of my friends if they wanted to add something to this video. I had to switch cameras because my first one died. But I also asked some of my friends if they have anything they want me to add on to the video. And I have it down here. My friend Mia said, it's okay to be scared for orientation because everyone else is probably just as nervous as you are. And it's a new experience for everyone too. And I agree. And honestly, I still remember my freshman orientation. It was very, like everyone was very uncomfortable understandably so because it's like a new environment and most people are just like scared because you get new homerooms and all of that stuff so it's just like not it's just not ideal for anyone to be honest with you so don't be like shy I guess about being nervous about it if anything be vocal about it because that's going to get you some new friends it's okay to be nervous it's okay to be scared it's okay to like have some some sort of feeling towards it because that's completely normal and everyone's probably feeling that way just like Mia said so it's fine you'll be okay I know it seems scary, 
but high school passes by so quickly that you won't even realize it. It's try to make it as memorable and as fun as you can. And I know some people's circumstances aren't the same as mine, but it's okay. But still try to make it as fun, memorable, and bearable, honestly, as you can. Because it's going to suck. For most for some people, for some people high school is going to suck. And at some point high school will suck. But I swear it gets so much better and you will look back on this time and be like, hmm, I remember high school blah blah blah. Also, I just remembered. Um no one's none of my friends suggested this, but try to be open to new experiences, you know? Like go to the football games, go to the pep rallies, have some fun. I know in my school we do a thing called the spirit stick and during the first the first pep rally of the year, like the whole school pep rally, the first pep rally of the year, um, everyone pretty much does their class chant so it's like class off and whatever class off you are and then it's just a fun way to like I guess we're closer to everyone and I know that's that's not everyone's thing but I swear it's so fun and, and personally in my experience pep rallies and anything like school spirit esque related it'd be a lot funner when you have friends with you so bring a friend they don't I'm pretty sure they don't even have to be from your school but like for safety make a friend at school so that you can bring them with you Sophie also said that OMG listen this is literally like a direct quote from her okay she said OMG Bella uses this calendar that helps you organize your schedule it's called notion you can make it your own aesthetic and it's so cute um I personally don't use notion I tried to use notion it, it's not for me but I know it works well for other people it's just not for me but yeah my last advice is to find joy in the things that you'll do in high school because you're going to have to do it either way just find ways that will make you enjoy it more does that make sense like like for me personally when i have like a big assignment coming up like i remember during my freshman year i had like a big essay for my history of rock and roll class and what I did is I went to a coffee shop nearby and I finished it there and it was it was just so fun and I had a chai with me and I got like a bacon egg and cheese croissant or something so just find ways that will make high school bearable like it could be going to a coffee shop to do your homework if you have a bunch of it um, it could be studying with a friend it could be making your own study group like it's just the tiny things that will help you make through the four years of high school you're going to be there for a while so just make your time as tolerable as you can because i know it won't be amazing all the time it's going to be hard sometimes but that's okay like that's that's technically what high school is it will challenge you high school ew. high school will challenge you high school will rip you to shreds sometimes but high school will also be fun and high school is going to be memorable and you're going to make some amazing friends i did this after on my phone because both of my cameras are dying but it's fine to summarize everything i said don't be afraid to ask for help email if you don't want to talk to your teachers in person that's fine it's okay to be nervous join some clubs and organizations you will make friends something will come out of it one way or another try something new it's okay to not know everything you're like 14 15 when you get to high school you won't know everything and that's fine um form good study habits don't procrastinate stay organized have some school spirit because that's fine and people if people say that you're lame for having school spirit then they're lame for thinking that someone's lame for that like don't it, it doesn't matter just just do you have some fun be nice and that includes teachers staff administrators the custodians and especially other students do not start drama you are not that person um let's see what else grades are important but they do not define your worth 
but also do not slack off because your freshman and sophomore year is just as important as your junior and senior year. Um, let's see, what else? No running in the halls, that's a little bit embarrassing and annoying. Find things that works for you and find the good side of stuff when you're doing things that you don't want to do at all. My last and most important advice is to enjoy high school. You will be in high school for four years and it won't be all uh, unicorns and rainbows. You will cry, you will be sad, you will be angry, and that's okay. That's okay. Like, that's okay. Have some fun, surround yourself in good people and good company. It will go a lot quicker than you think it will. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. All my socials are linked down below if you want to follow me on there. I almost forgot to wish you luck this school year. Best of freaking luck this school year. You will do great things. You will do amazing this year. You will get through the hard things. There will be hard things, but that's okay. You will get through it. I will get through it. We will get through it together, separate, but together. You got this. I love you. See you next time. Bye.